Alright, welcome back to Jump One Half with all this cool artwork going on here. Also, I noticed that Demo actually traces the curved line here, which is pretty neat. So, I, apparently, I can go to the four castles in any order. So, we've got Marcel's house, the trapdoors, uh, 21, <laughs> and you were holding an umbrella. Four very different names here. <laughs> So I'm going to go to Marcel's house first. Maybe that's a mistake, given that it's Marcel's house, and wow, it is very ice block heavy, as you would expect. Perhaps even more so than you'd expect. This looks... It appears to be a blueprint of a place you vaguely recognize. It looks exactly like what's ahead. Notes on the side say, don't steal. So this is uh, looking... A lot like, uh, well, definitely like the level I recognize, which is the Depraved Stronghold. I, uh, whoa, didn't, I thought that he was a little bit farther over. But things are definitely starting to, uh, get different, more different as I go along. Okay, that worked. It's also a lot shorter. <laughs> that room was... Or maybe it is different, because... This room looks completely unfamiliar. You can die. Good enough. <laughs> that was really close. Alright, let's kill you and then stay over here this time so that he doesn't respawn. There's Dragon Coin number two. Let's think carefully a bit about how I do this so that I can just jump out easily enough. Alright, so I gotta hit that block. Nope. Nice try. And that works. Okay, so I can't interact with these, only the shell does. Alright, so I can't scroll in this level, apparently. I'm just gonna pop this guy. Ah, oh, rats. I tried to land back on it again, but I was too slow. I should have just jumped over that gap. It wasn't really like it was that large anyway. There we go, much better. Now, I'm assuming this is the brown block that starts this uh, block snake. I also assume that I want the block snake to keep going, because... It looks like I have to break the alternate routes by picking up those ice blocks. So let's try to do that. I'm not sure why I want to do that just yet, but... Okay, that gets us a floor platform, which lets us enter the doors. Good thing that wasn't too hard a puzzle to see ahead of time. Okay, we're gonna slide down here and then keep momentum, and we get a mushroom. And this time we're gonna be using A. Oh, well, that doesn't work. Oh, okay, I was supposed to wait for it to do that. Whoops, well, I messed that one up, too. Only got one more mistake in me, so better be careful. Okay, this is another one of these only the enemies are buoyant levels. Alright, let's just jump past them. Gotta kill these guys. Whoa, that was weird. Hello, Mushroom. Alright, he's gonna start whistling no matter what I do. Okay, that was not a very good idea to go that fast, but apparently it worked. Jump past you, do a low jump. There we go. <laughs> Very close. So what's in this block? Okay, that one's also a mushroom. Well, I guess it just gives me two power-ups then. Oh, this is the one where if I hold a block, I go- I jump really high. Whoops. Whoops. 
Yeah, this is this is basically just uh, using all the gimmicks from more cells levels than the original jump. Though, the Depraved Stronghold beginning was kind of strange because that one was not made by Marcel, that was made by Yolp. Alright, let's just spin jump over you and then take the... Well, uh, then I messed it up. Do you just disappear? Oh, well, oh, crud. <laughs> that didn't work out as I intended. I was worried about hitting my head against those spikes, but I guess it wasn't really that big a danger in hindsight. Alright. Plop that, and I can just sneak in there. I hope I didn't need that disco for anything. I don't think I did. Whoops. And then I ducked a bit too late. I'm almost thinking I should be holding a block there. Whoa. Okay, I was supposed to jump off down there, but I panicked and jumped way too early before I even knew what the obstacle was. Whatever, we just got the midpoint, so it's not like I lost too much progress. We bounce on the Koopa, we land here, that guy hits that. Just need to deal with him. Okay, so I'm assuming there's a block over there, or a whole pile of blocks over there. Okay, smack. And I can... Well, darn it. I was holding a weird combination of buttons, so I couldn't switch to the rosary in time. <laughs> That's unfortunate. What is this coin for? I feel like this is a trap or something. Oh, never mind, it's a mushroom. <laughs> I was really confused for a second. I'm not even sure why that had to be marked, but... Oh, here we go. Hold Y and press or hold L or R to get a block. This will surely make the level too easy. That message is a little bit familiar. I'm pretty much just holding L all the time here, because why not? Oh, it also doesn't make me jump super high anymore, so gotta be wary for that. Okay, that was weird. Smack you. <laughs> You're dead. And that's the end of that one. Unless it's gonna do the section from the second half. Oh, am I supposed to go down there? Okay, yes I am. I probably don't want to go down here though, because I'm assuming I'll just land on the spikes. I wonder if we're going to be doing the gimmick from the second half of this level where we play as Big Boo. I'm assuming not, but... Oh, I could have just stood on that. Darn it. And that didn't work out at all, because I didn't go when I was supposed to from the earlier obstacle. Darn it! I can't even get back up there, so I pretty much just have to die now, I think. Yeah, I, I just hope I don't land on, like, the exit. Well, whatever, I'll just die now. There's, there's the boss door.
that was almost perfect, and then I lost it all right at the end. Which sucks, because that, this room gets a lot harder when I'm small. Oh yeah, right, I, get, I do get one mushroom. Let's try to use this mushroom wisely. There we go. Now everything there works out too. Okay, that thing fire didn't fire uh, one of them last time, I swear. Because <laughs> that was firing really fast that time around. Let's avoid getting crushed against the wall by that thing. I did not follow the coin guides at all, but apparently they weren't really that accurate. So... Oh, and this is the exit. These are all background, apparently. Looks like no one is home. Well, too bad I went through all this trouble for nothing, then. I, like, you come over to pay a guy a visit, and he's just not even there. Tragic. More cells house went surprisingly well, though that's partly because I've already played some of those gimmicks before. <laughs> Uh, so, even some of the obstacles were familiar, so I already kind of had the muscle memory, maybe from way back when. So the trapdoors. I'm wondering if this is going to be a reference to Komei's trap or anything. Whoops, wrong button. This is by Daiso and FT. Apparently it saves after I exit this one too, but it doesn't matter because I won't be saving. This is a more regular castle entrance. And we have some very, uh, electric guitar. Point of advice, the doors you will face are rumored to lead to trap rooms, which you can escape if you have quick reflexes. Oh, that this isn't really my thing. I generally am not good at reacting fast to... Okay, so why am I going into the store? Well, that was easy. So what's the point of the doors? Like, why do I actually want to go in them? Do some of them have dragon coins, maybe? Like, let's go in this one. Okay, this this just makes me back to the same place. Because it's not that hard to avoid pressing up on these things. Dang it. This fireball is not going to be helping me with this obstacle at all. I guess we can lose the fireball. I need to keep the mushroom if I'm careful. <laughs> Whoops. Crud. Well, now I know what the trapdoor is, so I can just do that. That gives me a 1-up. Why do I want that? When I throw the shell up... Oh, I just have to hold up. Okay. I wonder if I go back... If that 1-up at the start was the same deal. So now I understand what the trick is with these trapdoors. Because... They limit my ability to move the layers. What's up with the red door, anyway? Let's just do this. Perfect. It felt a little sketchy for sure, but... And the, there's even other obstacles that are gonna force me to hold up. You can get that pretty easily. Oh boy. So we gotta go underneath, and then probably just... Yeah, there we go. Let's just hold up as long as possible. Dang it. Whatever. That wasn't very good, but it worked. Okay, it looks like we want to go under these spikes. Whatever. 
and that was just barely good enough. This is really nasty. There we go. Got that one too. Yeah, this, this requires a lot of concentration, which is why I'm not speaking too much. I should have held up there. There might have been something. Probably wasn't a dragon coin because I've got three already, but... Point of advice. Now the doors will teleport you even if you are already holding up or are in the air. Oh, okay. This'll... Oh, that's what I... Now I realize what I was supposed to do in the first room. I was supposed to hold up while walking past the door. Well, I already got good practice then for I, whatever I'm going to be facing next. Oh, boy. Unfortunately, this also... The fact that I did so well in the first half uh, after I was just testing things out meant I didn't get to see what most of the traps are, which is kind of unfortunate, but... Oh boy. Yeah, the fact that I can go in the doors hole in the air is definitely makes things a lot scarier. How do I grab onto those vines without uh, going into a door? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. I mean, maybe the vines are just part of the trick. Oh, I can't just hold up on those doors. That would make it too easy. Oh, whoops. That was dumb. Well, at least I know how to reset. I feel like there's a trick here that I'm missing. This doesn't go high enough. And I wasn't able to just be in between the doors. Yeah, that requires a lot of precision if I'm going to do it that way. I mean, I suppose I could just key jump. Whatever, this is a stupid strategy anyway. Yeah, just doing a key jump off the ground isn't very helpful. Alright, I hope I'm not missing out on any... No, learning's... whoops. Oh, just hold up. <laughs> that looked like the title screen of Cool or Cruel. Yeah, that's the only way I see how to do it, to be honest. Dang it. Okay, I'm supposed to hit the thing, and then uh, the shell comes down, and then I bounce on the shell. Well, let's see what I get in this one. Oh, it's the same one, because I'm still close enough to the other one. Oh, wait. I'm dumb. I can climb on these vines with down. That's the trick. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> I'm so used to trying to just readjust with up. Maybe it was my key, but it doesn't matter now. Ah. The block just killed the shell. That's unfortunate. <sighs> that didn't work either. Okay, that worked a lot better. Gotta do a weird jump to make that work, though. There's dragon coin number four. Okay, I see what we do here. We just need to do the down trick a couple times, and then we can get all the way up to the top. This is free. Let's wait until he's going down, I suppose. And then navigate only moving downwards. So what's the trick here? That's just a regular block. But I need to throw the shell up through these. I mean, that would be a really jank throw to hit the on-off block from the left side. Like if I 
jumped out and came back. Yeah, I don't see how to do that. Whatever, no problem to escape that trap room. And we get plopped back here, so I don't have to go through the entire room again, which is good. I don't know, maybe if I'm close enough to the top? No. It's very sticky. I feel like it's not expecting me to do something really strange, like jump back from the vines and throw it upwards. I'm not even sure if I could make that, to be honest. And I can't even shell jump or something because these blocks are here. Oh wait, I get it. We do this. Nice. And I'll keep my shell, obviously. Um, can I scroll? No. It's not gonna let me see the next room ahead of time. Okay, this one's easy. Darn it. I lost my shell. I probably still need that. Actually, that pipe might have killed my shell because it looks like I'm supposed to use the shell that's on the ground here. Oh. I am not certain what I was supposed to do there. Oh, whatever. Let's see what this trap room is. Okay, that wasn't too bad at all. Alright, we're still in the same spot, but this, e this is pretty easy to redo, so... Oh, okay, I'm probably supposed to use this shell to kill that. Sh darn it. Alright, so we can't hold up at all here, because if we're even just barely touching the door, it's too much. Good enough. And now I can't take that shell, clearly. Okay, this is just a timing thing. That wasn't too hard at all. There goes my shell. I guess that one's legit just a reset door. Unless it's like some sort of bonus door or something, I don't know. I'm worried I might have gone too far down, so let's go back up. I grabbed onto that vine with down two, even though it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. Pressing down on those things doesn't work. Thankfully the hole is also just a trap, <laughs> which is no big deal because the traps so far have actually been fairly easy to defuse. It's much better than actually falling down a hole. Now we go under, and whoops. Now we just gotta jump over those, and good enough. Okay, that's easy. So, at least dragon coins are a non-factor now. I'm not sure what those Koopas are for, so I'm going to assume they're just an obstacle. And we just need to do this. Darn it! I wasn't paying attention. That worked, thankfully. I wasn't sure exactly how that would play out, but... Alright, this time we wait towards the bottom. Good, and then we go. Oh, this is weird. I've never seen the platforms used like that before. I'm assuming the doors went all the way down. Jump! Whoa. Okay, this takes me to the end, I assume. I have to wonder if this pipe is a trap. I gotta check it just to be sure. Okay, a nice, calm, friendly ending. Hopefully without a Kaizo trap to get me killed. And Tebo doesn't walk off the right side because this isn't actually Super Mario Bros. 3. So it doesn't quite look right, but 